Hey YouTube! So, it's been a while since I posted my last video. Late stage capitalism is rearing his ugly head, but regardless, I actually have a video to bring you. Um, a friend of mine was asking questions about um, medical equipment uh, in the context of if you go to a gun range, have a first aid kit of some sort that can deal with hemorrhage and bleeding, because if you use things that can put holes in people, have a plan to fix accidental holes in case of negligent discharge. It's a philosophy thing, not really the topic of this video. Um, the real question is, is a six inch Israeli bandage, that's kind of the, um, the standard way to respond to uh, maybe not massive hemorrhage, but you know, decent wounds. Is this in any way comparable to a four inch uh, Chinese version, and I guess the difference is this is a six inch version, this is the authentic one, has an NSN number, uh, kind of the whole deal, like expiration date, and um, it's a six inch version versus this version which is from China, it's a four inch version. Uh, so I guess let's dig into this. Um, first bit, externals. How much do they weigh? The six inch version? If I can get it to show, yeah. This is 90, 87.5, 87.5 grams. Four inch version is 84.4 grams. So roughly comparable on external weight. On the outside, the six inch version has uh, tear, tear triangles with little notches cut out in several locations. Packaging on the outside has markings for both sides. The cheap version does not have any super evident. Yeah, you can see the notch, but it's not very evident. In any sort of situation where you're going to be using something like this, expect all your fine motor skills to disappear. Um, oh, sorry, I was mistaken. It is a 6-inch bandage, not a 4-inch. So these two are effectively equivalent. Price-wise, this is about $10, $11. This is only 4 from AliExpress, so significant uh, difference in price. Um, has markings that say it's single-use only, sterile, some sort of a QR code. On the rear side, you have instructions made in China. The vacuum packaging seems maybe not so dense. I don't know if that's because it's leaked. No, I, I think this is just the degree of vacuum packaging that that one has. This one, it's very firm, very dense. Um, this one also marked as sterile, single use. Um, some sort of a data matrix code on the front baked into the packaging versus on an external label. We'll see what's on those barcodes in a moment. Um, actual NSN stock number. On the rear, you have, you just, I guess, a UPC code here, and some other instructions. Um, so I guess what's going to happen at, at this point is I'm going to open these up, and we'll see what's inside them. And I guess these will be trainers to put in my uh, kit, so that if anyone wonders how to put these on, then I can train them how to use these. Um, regardless, let's look at the authentic article. The, uh, the real deal comes in its own separate packaging. Um, yep, that's a UPC code. How does the one from China come? Yep, there's no inner packaging. This one's just ready to go. Ah, shoot, I tore through the QR code. Speaking of QR codes and data matrix codes, time to find out what's on them. Here's another video that's coming, the uh, JZ V80, uh, PDA, Android, bunch of other features, but has a Honeywell barcode scanning engine in it. Of course it's not working on screen. There we go. 
contents of the code. 0729 oh, 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 it's whatever this string here is right there. Not sure what that represents. So, effectively meaningless to us. What about this one? I managed to put the tear straight through the QR code, so we'll see if it's got enough error correction to there we go. Uh, I don't know if that's a part number or what. There is no UPC code on this, so it's just that little QR code. And I really don't know if that means anything. I'll have to Google for it later. Alright, so the real version, as everyone knows, comes in its own separate inner plastic packaging that comes with its own tear triangles. One extra step of packaging a tear open. This version does not. So let's dig into this version. You have the uh, plastic clip. You've got your absorbent material sewn in on all sides. For, you, for those of you who are familiar, the regular version this is not fully sewn and we'll open it in a minute. Um, and you can actually flip this open to cover a wider area, but this is actually fully sewn in on all sides and it does not look like you can tear this off at all. Um, the real version also has, so this is elastic. Um, there's some versions of um, dressings that have a, um, a stitch or a thread that holds this together so this doesn't completely unwind on you. Uh, and yeah, that's it. There's the uh, plastic buckle. Yeah, it seems decently strong enough. But um, yeah, there's pretty nothing, there's nothing remarkable about it. There's just a slight elasticity to this material. And I guess this is machine wound because it's very tight coming out of the package. But I don't think I can rewind it to quite the same density. Um, other than that, I don't know if there's much more to say about this one. I'm just going to rewind this one and see what's, uh, what else there is to remark on this. So I guess the only concern would be if this clip is good enough. The, um, desired, or the, sorry, the intended use of this is, well, let me see if I can find an analog. Alright, slight adjustment later. I've got the six inch China version here. The idea with these is that you wrap this around and you get this bandage. This is very awkward with the camera where it is. You get this through here and then you cinch it tight. And then from that point on, you apply the bandage. It's gonna be very awkward to apply it around the camera, but I'll do the best that I can. Um, eventually you get to the end of the bandage, and you can use the clip to hold it in place. Um, you can also use the clip to act as a, a bit of a windlass to apply more pressure, but the idea is that the, uh, the clip itself is placed directly over the wound, and when you cinch it down it applies additional pressure. Um, my only worry would be if the clip is not strong enough and it actually snaps or breaks in the middle of whatever you're trying to put it on top of. And that would be detrimental, I might say, just because it'll be a uh, reasonably urgent situation if you have to use one of these things. Um, but, I mean, I can cinch this down pretty tight, and it's not breaking or anything. How is it actually affixed? The affixing seems to be by some sort of a adhesive. It almost feels like hot glue. So the, the clip itself almost feels like it's hot melt glued into place. Um, definitely not best construction, 
but definitely not the worst either. Oops. So, six inch version here seems like it would be good enough in a pinch. Genuine article, smaller, a little bit heavier, definitely denser, uh, better packaging, um, extra tear strips because in any sort of urgent situation you're going to be losing your fine motor skills. This is very densely vacuum packed. I would argue almost too much. Alright, so what do we got? We have a sticker here that shows you which way to unwrap it. There's that thread I was talking about. You'll see that come into play in a minute. Um, oh, interesting. This version doesn't have a uh, flap either. Okay. Yeah, right. So this this is just a single solid pad. So it is still equivalent. Um, here's the plastic clip on this one. You can see that it's markedly more durable. Also looks like it's hot melted here hot melt adhered on. I'll put these side by side. So, single pad, does not fold out. And I guess the application is pretty equivalent. Um, plastic does feel a little cheaper on, on this version. But you can definitely see the similarities between the two clip styles. I mean, it's not breaking underneath the pressure from from closing it down completely. So it's not garbage, but it's not great. side-by-side -side comparison, the China one on this side, the proper Israeli one on this side. Both pads are identical. This one feels about equivalent. I don't know what the absorbing capacity is, but uh, I guess it's a little interesting that it almost seems like the China version has a slightly larger pad by only a few millimeters. I don't think it's a trick of the camera either, but um, that's interesting. So here's the other difference that you don't see on the China one. You see this little single stitch thread? This is designed to keep this from unfurling so you can just kind of unfurl this one wrap at a time and it just kind of helps keep this from completely running away from you. So I'll undo this completely and that way we can see what the uh, result looks like. I'm kind of curious myself how much elastic material there is on one bandage versus the other. I kind of wonder how much this little string is worth as well. There's a decent amount of elastic material, and here is the plastic clip that you would use to affix this. You end up sliding the, the bandage in on itself on two sides, and that's what holds it on. But that's another valid point of comparison. How do the clips stack up against one another? So that's the tooth pattern on the genuine article. The uh, Chinese knockoff elastic bandage material feels about comparable in terms of stretch. Um, it does feel a little thinner. Yeah, it does feel a little thinner. 
So here's the China clip. Here's the Israeli on top. Pretty much a direct knockoff. The um, the clip, I guess, has a slightly more acute angle here versus the Israeli version. Maybe that's to make up for uh, less of a sharp tooth pattern. Um, yeah, because the teeth on this one are definitely sharper. But when you go to secure it, does it doesn't hold. Yeah, it still holds reasonably well. It doesn't want to come undone. You've got to lift on this to get it to release, so... Yeah, I guess in a pinch, this Chinese-Israeli bandage for half the price, if you're hard-pressed or for whatever reason you need to get one of these and you're on a budget, the Chinese version's not a bad way to go. I was skeptical, but, I mean, in a pinch, if you've got nothing, use what you have. Um, so yeah, that's basically this video in a nutshell. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, yada yada yada, algorithm, hit the notification bell, all that jazz. I don't care. If you like the videos, just enjoy the videos. Cheers!